Walls up. Walls down. Walls all around. Next on Global Pulse. Why build a wall? To keep the neighbors out of places like China, Israel, and Arizona. Although walls don't always work. Al Jazeera English reports that some people see walls as a solution. Iran is building a huge wall along its frontier with Pakistan. Many locals suspect they may seal off the entire frontier. To my right, you can see the wall that is being constructed along the Iranian frontier. On the left is Pakistan's frontier with Afghanistan. NBC News shows how some see walls as a problem. Today, the people of Atamiya took to the streets to stop a wall. No to isolation, no to America, they chanted. We want this wall gone, this woman said. We want our normal lives back. The U.S. military, with Iraqi government support, is building walls in five Baghdad neighborhoods to prevent insurgent attacks. But yesterday, under political pressure from both Sunnis and Shiites, Prime Minister Nuri al-Maliki withdrew his support for the Atamiya wall and ordered construction stopped. Either way, walls are in the news. Today is the 20th anniversary of the greatest moment in the history of the world. President Ronald Reagan stood at the Berlin Wall and issued his historic challenge to the Soviet Union. Jimmy? General Secretary Gorbachev, if you seek peace, tear down this wall. Of course, that was during the Cold War when walls were bad. Now we're in the war on illegal immigration, and walls are good. Fox News reports the U.S. is part of the trend. Here it's roughly 15 feet high. Supporters also want to build a second fence a little further out, let's say about this far out. And in between the two fences, they want to build a road right down this stretch so Border Patrol agents can patrol. One more thing they want, they want to put security cameras up on top of that fence. According to Latino America News, Mexicans are less enthusiastic. Members of the Mexican parliament have denounced as racist the wall the United States is constructing along the border with their country. ABC News says Israel is on the cutting edge of wall building. The Israeli government started building this wall just over five years ago. It claims to keep Palestinian suicide bombers out. It is the longest, most sophisticated security fence in the world. It's about 425 miles long, 26 feet high, and costs around $3.5 million a mile. But according to Iran's IRIB, the Palestinians don't like it much. A total of 17 people were injured on Friday during two demonstrations against Israel's separation barrier across the West Bank. Zionist regime's police used tear gas and rubber bullets to disperse the demonstrators. Some walls are meant to keep citizens in. Korea's KBS reports that one of these seems to be coming down. Finally, the train which has been disconnected for half a century runs powerfully. This is a miracle. But the divide between North and South Korea is only halfway breached. South Koreans can go north, but North Koreans cannot go south. North Koreans ask South Korean news reporters not to shoot the scenes of North Korea out the windows of the train. I think you should stop shooting now. Finally, passengers are at the final destination, Gaesung Station. However, the city is empty and strangely peaceful. I wonder if North Korean people know about this historically important moment. As reported by Russia Today, a real wall did come down this year, in Nicosia, the capital of Cyprus. In the dead of the night, and completely unannounced, Greek Cypriots began cordoning off Ledra Street, the main street in the capital Nicosia, through which the barrier with the Turkish side passes. Using heavy machinery, they began the demolition process of the Greek side of the barrier. This latest move has brought positive reactions from the residents on both sides of the wall. You understand, this is the main street of uh, Nicosia, this is the main street of all Cyprus. Observers and residents alike hope that this will be the first step to creating a permanent passage between the north and south in the near future.
This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Link TV is the only US network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries and diverse cultural programs. Programs which connect you to the world.